Hello, and welcome to Avio's Journey. My name is Anthony Pika, your host. This podcast is all about helping the new and upcoming voiceover artists grow their business and help them sidestep all of the trash I seem to step on. Tonight, I got a great episode for you. Tonight, I'm going to be talking about why you are not getting business And maybe we're all not getting business this way, meaning our own business from our own efforts, because there's something we are really not doing amongst all the millions of things we are. All right? Let's do it. This is VO's Journey. With your host... The incomparable Anthony Pika. So, it is so good to be back for episode number 106. That is crazy. We're getting closer to episode 110. That's pretty amazing. Um, But anyways, uh, the last couple of, I would say about the last week or so, last five or six days, I've really dived into branding and I've you know been diving into marketing and advertising because um something's been kind of nagging at me recently and it it's been um it's been also growing in intensity the more coaching I've been doing and the more people I've been helping um and I'm I'm starting I'm I'm seeing this trend a lot and I'm seeing it with myself first and foremost and then everybody else. And I want to talk about it here because I don't think it's being talked about because I think people are afraid of it and or they're afraid to admit it, even coaches. But here's the thing. I think a lot of people are struggling. They're struggling hardcore getting business that's not from a, a website. You know, getting business that's not from Fiverr or Upwork or Freelancer or Voices or Voice123 or Voice Bunny or, you know, Voice Realm or any of these other sites. I think voice actors are really struggling. I, I Well, I know they are, at least the ones that, that are in our, our community when it comes to getting business on our own. And and here's the crazy thing, right? Because if you look at the landscape, you see that we all have things that we're doing, right? We we're emailing, we we're calling, we're we're sending out, um, uh, we're doing social media, we're making posts, you know, we're 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 putting ourselves out there. We are. We're doing work, okay? But you know, I I. <laughs> So because it's been nagging at me, I've taken a step back and and I'm starting to see again where I am failing at doing something that that really is at the basis of this. And I want to talk to you about that tonight because I see everybody else doing it as well. And that is I think we all, at least if you're listening to this podcast, you might be approaching what we are, what our advertising, our marketing and our branding the complete wrong way. Um, about, I don't remember how many years, maybe, maybe it was like, it was, well, the, the video was nine years ago, but, uh, a person named Simon Sinek, and I've talked about him in earlier podcasts, um, made a, a, a Ted, did a Ted talk called start with why. And the idea behind this Ted talk was that, uh, as consumers, we all purchase based on uh, the 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 primal feeling, like why we buy something is based on feelings, and then we justify that uh, that purchase or that feeling from the you know what it is that the people do and and what differentiates them, the business, right? But we still always buy from the feeling or the beliefs or the why a company does what they do. Okay. So that was, that was the Ted talk. And, you know, he makes a very compelling, uh, a very compelling um, uh, pitch about it. So anyways, uh, as I looked into what we all are doing and I, I was thinking about that and I've been reading some books recently on branding and marketing and things. And, you know, what I'm seeing is so many of us are, are literally, either just spitting out content, you know, putting out stuff, whatever we can do. We're all trying stuff. And you know what I'm not seeing myself do or many of you do 
is I'm not seeing us put out why we are doing what we are doing. You know, why are we selling voiceovers? You know, why? And it can't be the money. I mean, if it's the money, it's not going to it's not going to work for you because I'm not talking money is like a byproduct, right? Money is a byproduct. Money is not a purpose. Because if money was a purpose, then money would be the end goal. But money's not the end goal because the end goal would be what money is going to get you. And then what what you want to get from money, why do you want to get that? Right? There's a why there too. There's a purpose behind it. So what is the purpose? And let's be honest, we do business with companies that we identify and we relate to their purpose. It's the truth, right? We relate to companies and when we relate to companies or we feel, and it's not companies, it's our community, it's people. If there is somebody that we relate to or there's a business that we relate to, if we relate to them and we feel like we have the same beliefs, then we trust them because they're not strangers. They're like us. They could be from a different country. They could be, they could speak a different language, you know, primarily. But if they have the same beliefs we do, we are kin. We are part of a community together. And we trust people that have the same beliefs that we do. And when we trust people, we are willing to buy from them. We are willing to work uh, ourselves to the to the bone to to our bones for them. We are willing to do whatever for those people because we trust them, and we trust them because we believe in the same things they believe, and because of that, we are a community, and we as human beings always search for that community. And what I see myself not doing, and I know better than this, and it's a challenge, but and I see you guys not doing it too, we are not pushing why we are doing what we are doing. You know, we're not talking about we're, you know what we believe in. Our creative, our art, our marketing, all of our content that we put out, you know, that should be at the heart of everything we do. And right now it's not anywhere. And, and I'm just going to talk about myself because I, I can't talk about everybody who's here because you might be doing that. But for me, I don't do that. Now, I realize that I do do it. And I want to use this dichotomy here. I want to use this like A and B sample to explain to you what I mean. OK, so for me, as most of you know, if you know, if you're part of, if you're a part of the VO community other than just the podcast, but you know that um, I do, I help a lot of voice actors with coaching, with acting and uh, with Fiverr and audiobooks and things like that. Right. And, and that's, that's over here, my coaching part of my business. And then on this side of my business is my voiceover part. Right. So now if we take a look at those two businesses, you know, I mean, they're one business, right, but two different parts of it. And we look at the coaching part or the VO community. Um, I I would call all of us like a tribe, right? Because I think that, you know, we all have similar beliefs. So I know for me, and and this is, and you might understand, because this is what I I believed in when I started this. And, and I am assuming because you were here, you have the similar beliefs. So I'll tell you what it is. You know, I did this for multiple reasons, but I believed first and foremost that if I wanted something bad enough and I worked hard enough that I could make anything happen, I believe in that. I've always believed in that since I was little, but I also believed in that I wanted to, I want to feel alive. I want to feel like I'm challenged. I want to feel like there is something, you know, that, that, that pushes me to constantly have to, you know, um, move beyond who, uh, I am at this moment and grow. I, you know, I've always believed that we need to grow in order to feel alive because if not, we just feel dead. And if you're in a job and you're stuck there, like I was for many years, I just felt dead inside. You know, I did my best to be chipper and everything like that, but I was always dead because I knew no matter what I did, it was going to be the same thing day after day, year after year. I was never going to get a chance to spread my wings, right? So, but So I believed that I could do it. I could go full-time in voiceover. But here's the thing. 
I also believed that it shouldn't it should be that anyone with a full time job, with a family, with kids, with a mortgage, with bills could do it. But again, it goes back to that belief or that I believe that if you want something bad enough, if you are willing to work your heart out. All right. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter how much money you have. It doesn't matter if you are rich or you're poor, how many kids you have, what bills you have, what happened in your past, your past, what what spouse you have. All right. What 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 people are chasing after you, what whatever, where you where you are from, what language you speak. None of that matters. Because if you want it, if you really want it and you are willing to to fight, I mean, fight for it, I've always believed that you can get it. And I'm imagining that many of you are here because you somewhere believe that same thing. Now, because of that and because of those beliefs, so because of that and because I believe anybody can do it if they want it bad enough, I approach a VO, a VO's journey and the community from the standpoint is, is that if you're here, I think that you believe that. So because you believe that, I want to help you and I want to sincerely give you everything that I have in order to help you accomplish your goal because I see you working your butt off and that inspires me to help you, right? Because I believe in that. I believe that you believe it. We have something in common. So now we are a community and we are linked together. And Avio's journey is growing you know that that part of the business is is growing and it's it's going great but the thing is is that 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 avio's journey avio's journey is ours it can't be taken away it can't be i mean you know it can't be like a, a website can't well you know if uh, if fiverr shut down tomorrow it's not going to take away avio's journey right so that's 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 that part of the business and i wanted to bring that up and talk to you about it because if we move over and look at my my voiceover part of my business, right? You know, I make the majority of the money and a lucrative amount of money, I, I feel, from Fiverr, okay? And it really is going well right now. But if something was to happen tomorrow and Fiverr decided to shut down or sell or like there was a takeover, you know what I mean? You know, maybe a company took over Fiverr. Uh, you know, cause, cause maybe a marketing agency decided that they wanted to take over Fiverr or, you know, maybe, uh, you know, uh, Amazon decides to buy Fiverr, uh, because, you know, it, it, it's, it, people call Fiverr like the, the Amazon for B, you know, for, for, um, for businesses. Right. But the whole point I'm trying to make here is that if that was to go away, there's nothing I could do to recoup that business. You see what I mean? And because it's Fiverr, because and since I work on Fiverr, now I have customers and clients on Fiverr. That's true, but in their mind, they are Fivers, right? And I am just working with Fiverr. I'm a product of Fiverr. Again, I have no problem with it. I love it, and I'm a firm believer that when something is hot and when it is rolling, you you get on that train and you squeeze that thing and you ride it. All right, which is what I'm doing right now, and many of you are doing it, or you're you're, you're starting to do it. Okay, but what I notice is, is like if you stop and take a look at Fiverr and you were to say to yourself, all right, well, why does Fiverr do it? What is Fiverr? Why does Fiverr do what they do or what do they believe in? I can tell you exactly what they believe in because I've seen their advertising, right? They believe in professionals, all right, hardworking freelancers and small businesses and professionals. They believe in bringing them together, finding services quickly. Uh, and professionally at an affordable rate, and they do that because they believe that it doesn't ma- they they don't it doesn't matter who you are or where you're from if you are a freelancer or a big business you should be able to have access quickly affordably and easily access to other professionals. That's what they believe in. They believe in connecting those people, and because of that belief, how they differentiate themselves is. The gig economy, they offer a website that's very intuitive, a great platform, easy to use, all right? And they sell marketing, B2B. So 
that in itself is Fiverr's differentiation. And because of that, Fiverr is becoming very successful because they promote why they do what they do. They brand very well. Do you see what I mean? Where a lot of these other places are suffering and they're losing market share because they're not branding like that. But if you if you look at us now and I look at myself, with my voiceover business, I do none of that. None of that. I don't do any of it. But yet with a VO's journey, I feel like I do. And the funny thing is, is with the VO's journey, I've done it without even necessarily being cognizant of it. But I've done it because I have, oh, I felt it that I felt like, you know, and I've always loved helping people and I've always loved teaching and coaching. But the reason why I love those things is because what I said, because I believe that if you are willing to work your hardest at something and you believe in it, then doggone it, I'm going to help you with it <laughs> because that's what I believe in, All right? I believe in helping people who believe in it themselves. I love it. That, that, that fires me up. It gets me excited and enthusiastic. Um, and you know, that comes from my mom when I was young, telling me that I could be whatever I wanted to be. If I put my mind to it, that I had the abilities and I was talented enough. And, you know, she was great at, at really building me up and building my self-esteem when I was young. Okay. But I love to do that for other people. And I do that in a VO's journey, but on the other side, I'm not. So why I wanted to bring this up tonight again was because I want uh, you to think about yourself. And I want to think of, I want you to think about why are you doing what you are doing? And I challenge you to do this because it's going to be like something you didn't expect, you know, cause we all could, we could sit back here. And again, I, I know I talked about Simon Sinek earlier here and, but you know, we could talk about, you know, he talks about Apple and his Ted talk, but you know, Apple, you know, they do everything right to challenge the status quo, right? You know, they we know we know Apple in and out. Okay. But that's not us. We are not some large corporation. Okay. We are solopreneurs. We are freelancers. It's just us. So our brand has to also be our personal brand. But we're not doing that. I don't see any of us doing that. And the question then becomes how do we do it? How do we, how do I, how do I take what I believe in, which is if anybody wants something bad enough, they can accomplish it, or I'm willing to help people who want it bad enough, or I believe that it doesn't matter who you are, or where you're from, or how small your business is, or what language you speak. If you are willing to put in the work and to do what you need to do, I'm willing to help you. Right. I mean, how do I turn that into my brand and then build a community around that? Well, we we as a group, all of us, because it's not just me, it's all of us are doing it with the VO's journey. So we know we can do it with that. Then I know we can do it in other in other aspects and you'll have your own why. And your why will be something that's different than you might think it is. All right, it might be something completely different that sneaks up on you. I, and I've gone back and forth with many things, you know, like I love to tell stories, you know, I love to do all sorts of I, I get very emotional about now I think I get overly emotional about people, you know, underdog stories, you know, and, and people who have to overcome great odds, but they 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 fight till the end and they succeed. And it's, again, it's about that thing about me you know, believing that if you want it bad enough, anything is possible, right? It's, 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 it's just, I don't know. It's built into my DNA. It is what it is. That's just me. So I get like, I think I get overly, overly emotional at movies and stories like that because, you know, I get like the goosebump emotional when people succeed because of the fight. And I know how hard it is to fight day in and day out and have those feelings, but still keep going, right? Because, you know that that payoff is worth it because it's everything you believe in. So for you, I need, I, I need you to, I want you to search for that and to find it. And it doesn't have to be some, you know, change the world, although that's a, that's a, you know, a very good thing. But it, it can be something that, you know, I believe in helping people. 
or I believe that, you know, uh, I want to make the world a better place by, you know, giving people this or that or, you know, whatever your why is, you know, whatever your why is, you need to find it. Because if you find that and you can tell or you can communicate it, other people are going to relate to you. And if other people relate to you, they're going to trust you. And if they trust you, they will buy from you. More importantly, they will they will become lifelong partners with you. Okay? And and that's the ultimate. All right, you guys. I hope this helped out. I, I hope this really got you thinking about you know all the things that 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 we could do that we might not be doing right now. And I know for me, I'm gonna definitely be focusing on taking this part and now starting to integrate that into my voiceover business. And that's a definitely a challenge. I don't have the answers for that yet, but I know that's what I'm going to be working on. All right. So um, keep me posted. Message me. Let me know what you're thinking about this. Okay. And uh, also make sure you like this one or share it rather and uh, subscribe. And uh, thank you guys so much, so much for everything. Uh, 106. Crazy, right? All right. I'll talk to you soon. Peace. Peace.